Shane, what are we going to see today, man? Well, I was going to show you a little bit of how I do some scroll or swirlies, swirlies. and stuff swirlies. like that. A lot of people ask about it, so I thought, well, we'll see what well, we can do here. You don't see many people doing them. You see a lot of people dragging straight lines. I see a lot of people doing it a hard way, you know. Okay. But it could be... It, a lot of people, uh, well, just not a lot, but uh, you can edit that, can't you? Yes, many people. Some people, I see that uh, it just it's, it looks like it's hard the way they do it, and I don't know how they can still get it done, you know. But okay. I'm going to show some easy ways. Well, it's probably because you're left-handed, man. You no, cheat. It, it don't matter. Are you sure? It don't matter See, if you're left or right-handed. It's the technique. I think, I think the only reason you can stripe so good is like it's because it's on that side of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, left-handers are, it's a lot easier to do uh, script lettering. And, uh... Because it's on that side of you. Well, with the slant. Uh, a lot of right-handers, they'd have to be doing this to do a right script on. as far as with the lefty. Yeah. We got the see, right I angle told on you. it, see. See, yeah. But that's what I started out being was a sign painter. You know, we're going to do a segment on that. I've been on you about that. But we, I finally got you to do one on the swirlies. <laughs> so yeah. so are, we're going to be using different kinds of brushes? Yeah. Now, why would you use different kinds of brushes? I mean, well, for there's different, different widths, I the, guess? Or? You could just use your one brush, whatever you're comfortable with. But I was going to show it with a couple different brushes just to... You know, depends on what they use. Well, now, is this know? one of those manufacturer things where, you, where there's only certain kind of brushes you can do swirlies? Um, I usually use uh, a long uh, bristled uh, highliner. Some of them, there's uh, Steve Kafka's got some, Gary Jensen's got them, the Swirly Q. And it's just long hairs on it. And, uh, and it hasn't makes it got real the, nice. Well, it hasn't got that little traditional kind of like scooped. It ain't tapered and everything. This, yeah. All the hairs are the same length. This one's an old brush. You could tell it's it's. I've used this for a long time because it held the ends are sort of wore, but it's not still nice and soft. You could even do lettering with this if you flatten it out, and you could do pinstriping with this. It does a lot of. It's it's a real nice universal brush. This is a Bobo brush. Is it? And then I even Bobo was a friend, and I even got the prototype right here. And then they fattened up this, but I even the prototype, I wore this and out. That's nice. But I brush. kept it for a nice memory of them. Right. So I'm going to do a little Bobbo brush. And then um, show you the te technique I use. Everyone uses different, different techniques. So, you know, but this is just what works for me. Okay. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but. It's what you do and it makes my life easy okay I also a lot of people they pal it out like uh, they pal it out like this and then get theirs I just use the side of the cup and then I could even rake it off the edge if I got too much but I do a lot of traveling and a lot of shade tree striping I'm not always in a controlled environment or a garage so this is nice and universal, and I don't have to have a whole table full of stuff to go play. So I see you're you're like flattening it out. Yeah, I'm just I'm filling up all the bristles full of paint, but then still to where I don't have a big ball of paint running off the end. Okay. But then on this, some people use it in an angle. You know, do not if you want to do a scroll. See if you if you want to do a in an angle that's a that does a stripe line in a 45 degree angle. But today on the scrolls you stand it straight up on end. You could go fat to skinny. And then it holds enough paint. This is going to this is pretty cool right here. I can go fat and then I can go skinny and then I can go around. But if you just use the tip of this brush and you ain't laying it all down and everything, you can go on forever with this puppy. 
it's still flowing out these these brushes are designed to do this oops there we'll cover that one up that was where your brush had a little bit of snap and if you don't keep it straight up and down then it will snap like that with you and then you'll get a little it won't flow see I haven't reloaded yet or nothing And it depends on what thinners you use too. I'm using one shot paint right here with um, lacquer thinner. So you'd think the lacquer thinner would dry, but if you mix it up right and you don't put it too too much in it, it'll do the same as any thinner that you're used to. Some people say you can't do it with lacquer thinner, but well, you see what we're doing right now. So, That's crazy, man. I guess it does work, kind of, don't it? Seems like it is. <laughs> don't make me laugh, we'll get a wiggle. Now, do you have any idea what direction you're going when you're doing that? Or no, that just... I'm just dreaming it up. I don't really have patterns or stencils. You could tell, uh, I just free flow you could tell I'm getting a little bit dry but good grief man I think we're on like a uh, hundred yard up oh, there we go Wow dude yeah so now, now I'm gonna take a good long shot of that so we started up here wonder how long that is if it's a straight line and we went down and around and back see that's crazy right there and then you finally ran out right there. And that was with one flow to this little teeny brush right here. See, that's nuts. And I still had some left. If I would have thinned my paint a little bit more. Right. Oh, yeah, we could have gone a couple more laps. Really? Yeah, it wasn't as thick. It's, it's, it's still drippy. Right. But if I thinned it out, but then I wouldn't have the quality of paint amount on my line to make it last. Right. And that there, if I actually, did it too thin. And there's actually paint on that. Yeah. Now we're going to go, I got, this is a small little lettering quill. And you could do the same thing with this. See? Okay. And then this, if you don't want to go, you know, this long, you can still do it with this one. It does the same thing. Just you got to use the tip of the brush. That's what it's about. It ain't which brush you got. It's how you use it. Ooh. You see? Yeah, that was fancy. So now. So why then, why were the why was the longer brush preferred then or why the longer was it? hairs and that way uh, as you're going around it's it, the brush will curve I'll show you with this I got this real extra long haired one just to show you and you can see how the the brush will curve just using the tip of it you still got enough but if you push too far down with the brush then you get that sideways snap of the brush that will all screw up your whole round line. Sure. Okay, alright. See? So, and then I choke back on them. Sometimes I could go and run with my pinky and then sometimes I put my arm over here and use it as a palette. Oh, wow. But you see how the brush is curving? You don't want no more than that. Or you'll start getting here. I'll push down, and then you'll get a snap. You know. Mm -hmm. If I if I ain't straight up and down, I gotta be straight up and down, so the brush does what it's supposed to do. But see how it's curving around and got that mm -hmm. trail. Now see, I went I went way out of there, and it flung off. A lot of people have that here. We'll do it again. If I'll do it. And it whips. Yeah. Yeah. And then you come over, and then, the, then when the brush does land, then you get this dot right here, and you're like, oh, man, you can't wipe it off if you're in the no, middle of something. No, you're in something. the middle of it, right. 
So that's the snap of the brush and why you got it. Look at that thing. I could just I'll tap on it. Yeah. So you got to have control. Just the tip of the brush is all you're working with. Not to here. Not laying it down and doing this. Right. You know? Which is, I think, what most people think you're trying to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hell, look, I can't even do it with it, with it laid down. Right. It just ain't designed for that. No, it's not, is it? Same with the same pinstriping brushes. I mean, I keep mine. I they're they're full. They this is the 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 long. Here's the belly of the brush and your long hairs. I'm just using the tip of this brush, not the whole belly, and laying this whole puppy down. Some people cut the belly off the brush, about here, and then they got a brush that's only like that, and then yeah, you could lay it down and pull a line, but it ain't the whole trick of the whole art and the, you know, and you still come up with major complications, you know? Really? You need the belly of that brush to hold your paint. To hold the extra paint you need. But you gotta learn how to mix it and work with it to your liking, you see? But once they, they cut about this much off of it, uh, you're limited, you know? You're only going to drag so far along. Oh, no. They, I mean, they lay them all the way on the ground. Just come on and pull it, baby. You know? And uh, you're sort of cheating yourself out of learning the whole, you know, craft. That's, that's literally dragging a line. Yeah, yeah. Not pinstriping. In fact, let's see. I had a... I've collected a couple in the past just for just such an emergency. I got some that I mean some people's chopped them, man. Yeah. Well, that still got a little bit. This one's this one's pretty well gone and well, but it could still purpose. But you you're limiting yourself out of be you have to reload all the time or pallet then. And like I say, I don't do much palleting makes too much of a mess and I'm messy enough as it is. You see a lot of people do it though. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, and whatever, like I say, whatever works, right. you know, but... It does seem like it uses a lot of paint doing nothing I, with it. Though. I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're out in the summer and you're, you're palleting out on this, by the time you come back to repallet, it's already drying up it's from set. the sun. Yeah, it's set. As far as this, I stay at all controlled. It stays wet longer. But see, with this and even even though all the hairs are cut off and everything, you know, you can pull a line laying it all down. No worries. It's easy. Easy as can be. But you're cheating yourself out of learning, man, and, and getting the whole gig. See? Now with this one, as small as it is... Alright, now hold on. Now, 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 so, you're, so you're saying that by dragging the line, I'm doing wrong? I should just always use the tip? Yeah. And if I want a thicker line, I use a thicker brush. Yeah, well, then you can lay that thing down there. Yeah. Yeah, then you can lay it down. I mean, you can't miss when you, you when, I mean, this is easy. You, you know, anybody can stripe this way, you know. Well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. But yeah, I don't a lot know of people like can stripe this way, but see, that whole brush is laying on the ground. Yeah, I see that. And, that, and that's not proper. But here's where you get the, the craft and then and then work with your talents to be able to keep that thing still going I mean this is hard because I got uh, these I don't have no belly to keep all these bristles in line no more yeah this <laughs> because they cut the belly out of the day gun thing but that's how I pull about the size but I'll tell you what here we'll get a full-fledged big fat one here just to keep things straight here this one's got a belly on it. You can still pull them small lines. But you can pull a whole bunch of them. You can walk around that car. Some people, I think this one's like a double low maybe or, or uh, something like that. But I use even O's or 1's even to pull. And you can do this, still the same line. Let's go over here. See, there's a big old brush will still pull a little line. You're just not laying it down on the board. No, I'm using just a tip.
And then once you learn how to use just a tip, it makes life so much easier. You know? Now this end, if I laid it down, This is for semis right here, baby. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's your semi stripe. <laughs> well, I've seen some on cars that big, and I'm like, holy moly. Yeah, I don't think you'd want anything quite that. I mean, you know, maybe in like, like you said, in lettering, maybe. Well, I mean, you know, just the, the street rods, I mean, that's a little thick. That's a little thick. And then, going back to the scrollies. This is a, a Mac. This is a size 10 a lettering big, quill. That's a big, that's a big brush. Yeah. It fans out pretty, it fans out pretty wide. Ooh, that's a big brush. That's a paint brush. Yeah. Lettering quill. Yeah, I could, I could paint the kitchen with that. <laughs> well, we're going to do some scrollies with it. We're going to do scrollies with and now uh, if really? you need something designed and uh, something like that uh, um, even with uh, gold leafing and stuff like that these are great because you can get the little fats to small the skinny you can come in here and put a big dot and then you know and come around but yeah. you know and do your flowering stuff but it, if you keep the brush straight up and down You can do them same scrolls. And that's like a big old paintbrush. Yeah, and this big old paintbrush here soon, I'm going to get down to about the size. Oop, my finger got in the way. Here's the size of that little teeny Bobo brush was doing. Yeah. You wouldn't think you could do it with a big old brush like that. You can if you just learn how to use a tip. This would be a good practicing tip for people trying to get it you know who 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 can't really afford maybe one of the more expensive brushes or something it could all be done it's just a, it's it's the technique of it all here we'll go to this new gig here this new one but see I almost I laid it down sideways I almost had a little bit of snap back there at the beginning we're going to do the same thing we did with the Bobo with this little there is this big number 10 lettering quill. It's starting to dry up a little bit. It should have got a little bit thinner. I see it. But it could still... You would not think you could drag that much line out of it though. It's all I'm using just the tip of the brush. Almost looks like some of that Christmas candy, hey? Mm, it does. <laughs> Very, look at that. And that was with the uh, number 10 letter quill. Heck, look, this this thing, we'll pallet it out. Yeah, so you can get a line that wide with it. Yeah. Gee, Merry Christmas. All right, Shane. All right, that's the tip of the day, I mean, that is the tip of the day. You can do swirlies with just about anything. It's more technique than it is the brush. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you might be out on the road and forget a certain brush at the it didn't, oh man, then it might be miles away. It really hurts you on that. All right, yeah. So but now you know to look forward to more tips from Shane on Cruise with E Rider.